Most patients diagnosed with advanced cancers are treated with chemo or radiotherapy. This is a rather limited number of weapons for the war against cancer. But what if we could use our body's own arsenal to disarm the enemy? This is what cancer immunotherapy is all about. Instead of attacking tumors directly, immunotherapy works by boosting our own immune system so it can do the fighting for us. Just think about your immune cells as if they were Mr. T, the bouncer at your local pub. <coughs> His job is to remove individuals that are out of control. In a similar way, your immune system works to stop cancer cells from spreading uncontrollably. My research involves working with a master regulator of the immune system, a small protein called interleukin-2, or IL-2 for short. IL-2 is capable of increasing the numbers of immune cells, such as T cells, so they can fight tumors more efficiently. This makes a lot of sense, since you probably need more than one bouncer to, let's say, uh, remove a drunken NRL player from a pub. <laughs> in patients that respond to IL-2 therapy, the recovery is remarkable, and in some cases, tumors shrink and disappear within months. Unfortunately, IL-2 therapy um, causes life-threatening side effects, which um, makes it only successful in patients that are younger and stronger. So the question is, how can we make this treatment less toxic and beneficial to more patients? During my research, I have engineered IL-2 for longer biological activity. In mice, a single dose of this new protein expands seven times more T cells than multiple doses of normal IL-2. This is a bit like giving an energy drink to our bouncer Mr. T during a long shift. But what if our IL-2 energy drink was free on tap? Everyone would drink it, everyone would think they were bouncers, and lots of fights would break out and create a toxic environment. A similar thing happens in our body, where IL-2 does not only stimulate T-cells, but also activates cells responsible for toxicity. So, in addition to long-lasting activity, I will further modify IL-2 to make it inactive on cells that cause toxic side effects. So, if you are wondering about recent advances in the war against cancer at Garden, think about IL-2-powered T-cells. They do not pity cancer cells, they kill them. <laughs>